Hello, my lovely YouTube family. Thank you once again for joining me here in the kitchen. Today's recipe is uh, number three of the installment for quick, easy, fast, healthy, and satisfying snacks that you can make your friends, your, your significant other, your children. Okay, now these are easy variations of more intricate variations I've showed you before. And it's good that I'm doing this so that we don't forget what's out there because these videos tend to get buried on top of each other and we have a lot of videos, just hundreds of videos. So, jicama. If you don't know what jicama is, it is a root vegetable. Can grow to up to the size of a grapefruit sometimes. It's nice and crispy. We, um, a lot of raw fooders make uh, french fries, cut them in the shape of a french fry and spice them up and make french fries out of them. These are perfect for a taco. A taco is thin and crispy and flavorless. Thin, crispy, flavorless. But this is not fried. This does not have hydrogen oil in it and all that hydrogen stuff, so. This was really perfect. I used to slice them myself on a mandolin until a lot of people started getting hip to the fact that jicama is very versatile. So now I see them in health food stores already pre-sliced. The only thing I do to them when I get them home is I remove them from the plastic container they are in and I put them in a glass container. So we're just going to make a fast, quick guacamole. This is one of the best guacamoles in the world. And it's so simple. And I think that's one of the reasons that makes it so delicious is the simplicity of it. This is how I cut an avocado. Everybody has their own different ways. So I slice it in half like that and then I Gently yet firmly get the seed. And if you tap it against a clean garbage bag or you remove it with your thumb, you're good to go. Now, um, wooden spoons are not good for removing avocado flesh. I need a spoon like this, so that's what I'm gonna use. But I do avoid these spoons. I love bamboo. Okay, number two. Okay, so what I do next is just mash that. And it's really good with a potato masher. I don't mash it quite that much. It's nice to have chunks. I don't like it like baby food, you know, chunky. It's guacamole. A red onion is magnificent in here. I'm just gonna slice it kind of thin. I like thin slices and a lot. So if you have a lot of the thin slices, you're good to go. Okay. Okay, you know what? I could have, I should have sliced it a lot thinner. I don't even like that size. Okay, look. For, Cause it's, the guacamole is just, it's not that much and I don't want the onion to overpower it. So, okay, once again, nice. Now that's more mince. In the bowl it goes. Of course, guacamole is nothing without cilantro. There have been times when I didn't have cilantro, so I had to use parsley. But it wasn't that bad, if you could believe it. But I'd much prefer cilantro. Okay. Sometimes I just make guacamole because I'm hungry and I don't want to deal with this or a wrapper uh, with a jicama or anything. So, but I do want a chip type. So it's really cool. Red pepper, organic red pepper has so much flavor, especially when you get it in season. So I just chop thick pieces and throw them in there. And it's a really great consistency. It's like a chip, but we're gonna wait on that because we do have our crispy taco. Okay, so secret also, the most important thing is salt and lemon. A lot of lemon, a lot of salt. Okay, and then we got the salt right here. Give it a nice little stir. Mmm, that's sea salt, coarse sea salt. 
Da, 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 da. Okay, so you know, why don't we just add those two? That's nice and fun. But like that's about as much um, additions to my guacamole as I would add because with guacamole, sometimes less is more. Well, it is with guacamole. In my ever to be humble opinion. Here we go. Oh, you know what makes it really good? I forgot. Okay, so you have that, doo -doo, and you just roll it up. Imagine you have 10 of these or whatever for your family on a plate for on the ready. Okay, so just when you think you couldn't get the tacos to taste any better, oh my God, a little cream of some sort in there throws, just takes it home. Here's veganaise. Now, if you guys aren't, you know, too extremist, veganaise is good. But for those of you that are, we also have an all raw vegan um, mayo recipe right here that you could check out. Delicious as well, but this is about fast. So I got a little layer of that. Boom, there you go, roll it up. Mmm. Mm. Oh, the red pepper taste amazing in there. I'm not acting. There's no need to. You make this and you tell me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so mean doing this in front of you. I'm sorry. But you guys make it so that you can enjoy this too. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Take care and thank you for joining me again. Bye. Mm. Want one? <laughs> I'm so talkative. All I've been hearing is what does Kara eat in a day?